Hi, um, in this video, we're going to continue talk about exercise 16, um, part F. Um, it is, it is not, a, not a complicated uh, part. I think the most complicated part is part E. Um, but for the sake of completeness, I want to include um, the solutions for F. So here we're given X1, X2, and they're disjoint and countable set. And we, we, we define X equal to the union of X1, union union of x1, x2. And then we define that our m sigma algebra to be the countable and co-countable set on x. Uh, and we call the definition for countable and co-countable set is that E is in m, um, even only if that E is countable or uh, the complement of E is countable. And then we define the counting measure mu naught. Uh, notice that uh, whenever you have counting measure, you can define that measure on the power set of for universal set. So here mu naught, the domain of the mesh mu naught is the power set. Um, and we uh, define another measure on M. Notice that um, I think for most of the measures that is not counting measure, the domain has to be sigma uh, algebra. Otherwise uh, you, will, you will reach a contradiction like the measure cannot satisfy all three properties. Um, okay. Um, which three properties? Well, you can refer to Folan, I think, at the beginning of chapter one. Okay. Um, and then we define that mu E is equal to this. Okay. And then we want to show that mu is a mesh on M, and we want to show M tilde is equal to Px, and we want to show those are not equal. Okay, to show M, uh, to show mu is a mesh around M, we just need to follow the definition. So for empty set input, of course, the county measure of empty set is zero. And then we have the uh, EGR disjoint, and we have this, and we have this just rewrite. And then by the, um, because EJs are disjoint, so EJ intercept X1 are disjoint, and because of it is county measure, so it has um, uh, additivity, um, uh, countable additivity, and therefore uh, using the definition of mu naught, again, we obtain this. And then for the second part is we want to show this m tilde is equal to px, where px is the power set of the universal set x. So clearly, so every set in m tilde belongs to x, therefore every set in m tilde belongs to is, a, is an element of the power set. And then we just need to show the other conclusion, uh, inclusion. So uh, let's write down the definition for m tilde, which is clearly, uh, which is explicitly written down here. Um, so, and then we take E in the power set and we take, um, we want to show that E is in M tilde. And how to show E is in M tilde? It is means that if for any finite measure, for any finite measurable set, A, E is in M. And so that's why we, I picked A in arbitrary A in M with a measure of A is finite. Uh, with measure of A is finite, that actually implies that because we define the measure to be this, uh, and then because this is a finite, and because we're given the x1 is uncountable, which means the counting measure of x1 should be infinity, infinity right? But we got a finite, that means A, the measure, counting measure of A must be finite. Therefore, A is a finite set, or you can say this countable set. Um, therefore, E intersect A is also finite, or you can say it's countable. Therefore, E intersect A is in M, and then we're done with proving um, that the, this inclusion, therefore the equality holds. And the last is uh, our observation that they are not equal. So this illustrates, this is a counter example saying that, okay, we have M and we define M tilde, and then, um, and then we uh, look at the measure on M tilde, which are M tilde first and M, uh, sorry, and M, so M tilde and M bar, those are both measures on um, tilde to make, uh, uh, those are two saturated measures on M tilde. And then we're showing in this case that they're not equal. Uh, so the saturated measure on M tilde is actually, uh, the saturated measure on um, local measurable, collection of local measurable sets, which is M tilde is not, not unique. So um, let's consider this set. So, um, if I use a mu tilde, the mu tilde of the set is equal to, uh, let's think about the definition for mu tilde. If, if this is uh, in M, then uh, mu tilde is equal to 
mu of the set. If this is not uh, measurable, then mu theta of the set is equal to infinity. And so the question boils down if this is if this is in mu. Well, uh, what is the definition for mu? Well, the definition for mu is that uh, it is uh, countable or co-countable, right? However, because we have x2 in this set, it is definitely not countable. So let's look at the complement of this set. Well, the complement of this, this set uh, is uh, x1 set minus x1, y1 comma y2. And this clearly is a finite set. And what is x1? x1 is uncountable. Therefore, this set is uncountable. And therefore, it's this set's complement is also uncountable. Therefore, this set is not in M. And because it is not in M, so mu theta of this set is equal to infinity. And let's look at the mu bar. Uh, what is the definition for mu bar? Well, mu bar is equal to supreme amount of mu A, where A is a subset of uh, this set and uh, the measure mu a is, is finite, right? And um, what do we know about? Um, actually, uh, uh, discard the constraint that is finite. So we just this is a, this is equal to supreme of a mu a, where a is a subset of uh, this set. So we are wondering uh, about this, right? So, but mu a, what is mu a? Mu a is a um, mu naught intersect x1. So if we look at all possible subset of this and we uh, intersect with x1, so for example, then the maximum, so the largest set we can get is x1 comma x2, right? So, um, but the mu of uh, y1, mu naught of y1 comma y2 is just equal to two. Therefore, uh, this is equal to two. And since y is equal to infinity, one is equal to two, those two are actually measure are not the same. And like that. Mm -hmm.